In today's video, we're opening extremely rare tournament packs. What's up guys, we're back with another tournament pack opening where we have a wide variety all the way back to the original tournament pack up to the most, not the most recent, but one of the most recent OTS packs. Before we actually get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Lost Art Gemini Elf. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what's your favorite OTS slash tournament pack slash champion turbo astral pack ever made. And what do you want to see pulled today? All right, so here is what we have today. It's not a crazy amount of packs because guess what? Tournament packs are not that easy to get, no matter if they're new, old, whatever. Whatever it is, they're pretty hard to get. But we go all the way back to the original. We have some champion pack. I've got turbo and I've got, I think, one astral pack in there somewhere. Okay, so we have one from every single version of tournament pack ever. There's been five different versions. Started with tournament pack, champion, turbo, astral, OTS. So let's go with OTS 22 to start. We have the most of the 22 and 21, but we do have uh, some pretty awesome stuff, including turbo pack six, which could pull the ultimate rare dark arm dragon, which would be pretty amazing. All right, let's see what we, oh foils at the very front on 22 so evo diversity you get an automatic super rare in those there's not a lot of cards in these so as you can see it's like three cards per pack that's always been the case since the original tournament pack we'll kind of discuss the differences as we get to those but we're gonna do a little uh current ots i think ots 23 i don't think we even opened we never uh got our hands on any of that they can be a little bit harder oh i spoiled it okay Horn of the Oliphant, the Lord of the Rings action. All right, we've got a Sync Realm and a Morphtronic Remoten, all the way back from Raging Battle and 5Ds. Let's do a little variety with OTS 21. These are very, very similar right here, except this one's a little bit more of a fat pack. No body shaming going on here, but that's basically the same. You know, 21, I don't remember exactly what's in here though. So what we're gonna do, doesn't spoil it right off the bat. So we can go like this, flip it around like that. We have a Testudo Arat Newman. This was like a big card from, I think, 5Ds. It was a common in one of the 5D sets that it was like money for a while. Okay, so these are at the back in 21. Very weird. They're only one set apart, but they've changed up where they are. Very interesting. Let's do 22. We're going to mix in some of the older ones as we go as well. I don't know. Was it spoiled right at the front? No, it wasn't. Okay. If you take that, this time it's not going to mess it up. Yeah, Evo Force. I've already gotten that. We have the Evil Tile Najasho. And the baby raccoon upon Poco. We're looking for anything that's not guaranteed in these, because like in these you can get ultimate rares, and the older ones you can get ultis, you can get ultras, you can get supers, they're not guaranteed. Hoping that we get anything today, but with these loose tournament packs, it can be super hard to pull stuff. So if we get really anything, we're gonna be excited. OTS 21, that's gonna make it pretty interesting. Anything we pull would be awesome. OTS 21, do your thing. It's already at the back of contract with Aquamere Contact, I should say, Gishki Aquamere, and number 92, man mannequin cat so all super so far but don't worry guys there's a lot of potential left i think we might delve into one of the older ones in just a second let's see what can we get from ots 22 let's get that out of the way like that perfect that to the back that ultimate rare hopefully we have desynchro mortronic remote and again and clear new world another super not any luck so far not any luck but don't worry guys we're gonna keep trying let me know in the comments do you like these ots openings slash tournament pack openings if i can even get any of them especially the uh, old stuff the old stuff is really really hard to find these days especially on wade so i mean most of the time it's gonna be wade or something but i will do my best to get some and hopefully maybe we'll get lucky look we did pull a mech chaser one time that was a sealed box so that was pretty tough to get. We have E Pearly Happiness. If that ever comes up again, maybe TP2 or something, if we get lucky, maybe we could open some of that up and pull like a, like we never pulled a Morphing Jar, never pulled a Genzo Jar. I mean, the chances of pulling a Genzo Jar, it has been done on camera. Pretty amazing, but I don't know if I'm ever going to do it. Okay, uh, let's do one more of these and we'll hop into one of the older ones. So uh, OTS 21 came out last year, I think, 22 as well. So these are our 2023 packs. Nothing too insane. We have Gishki Aquamere. We have the Galaxy Expedition and the e Pearly Happiness. Same card. A lot of the times these tend to like pull the same supers, like if they're close to each other in the box. Let's go with a, that's not that old. Let's do a champion pack. How about that? So champion pack game two. This one contains a potential magician of faith in super rare. $500 card. Very, very expensive. We have opened a whole box of this on the channel. I think twice, actually. I was able to get my hands on two full 100 pack boxes. You can go check that out. Actually, we might have weighed them out. So we only opened the hollow packs. There's usually 10. So about one in 10, you get a foil. I think it's one in 12 for a super, one in 48 for an ultra. So that comes out to one in 10. So yeah, that's if they're in a sealed box. These, I got these in a collection. So they're probably all weighed. That's the, there's a good chance. There's a good, good chance, but we're going to try it out anyway. You never know. 
You can actually see the ratios, I think, on here. Yeah, one, ultra rare, one in 48. Super rare, one in 12. Rare, every every pack, but one in one, basically. And then two in one, so you get two commons and a rare. Really, though, they say a rare is in every pack, but it's not, though, because if you get a foil, it's not in every pack. So interesting. It's not one, really one in one. It's one in every, like, nine out of ten. Okay, there might, there might be a spoiler on the front, so... I saw it's an effect monster. Condition of faith, just saying. We're gonna open it backwards like this so we don't spoil it. If there's an actual foil on one of these, I will be shocked. I mean, that would be a pretty amazing. I actually don't know that it's at the front, but I'm gonna, look how shiny these are. These were in the era where it was kind of slimy, you know? Uh, we have a ceasefire, so old school CPO2, not TP2. Stray lambs, here we go. Oh, speaking of morphing jar, that's a pretty cool rare, actually. Morphing jar as a rare in champion pack two. That's pretty awesome. I might just sleeve up all these uh, champion pack cards just in one little sleeve. That's pretty awesome. All right. So, you know, we're not really expecting too much, but, you know, getting cool cards like that is going to be pretty awesome. The thing is, if we do get something, it's going to be really exciting because we're not expecting much, you know. Uh, if we actually get something, it'd be pretty amazing. Whether it's, Even if it's like a super, it'd be crazy. Horn of the Oliphant. Try a little OTS 21. These do not have a ton of cards, so we don't need to like speed through them or anything. This should already be at the back. We have the Photon Sanctuary. Time Space Trap Hole. And Light of the Branded for all you branded fans out there. I'm getting nervous for these other big ones. Uh, I don't really know what to expect, especially the Turbo Pack 6. Like those, these have high potential, guys. They have high potential because, you know, Dark Arm Dragon Ulti is a big one, especially if it gets PSA 10, which I have not done yet. I pulled two out of a full box of Turbo Pack 6, which was very expensive. And uh, yeah, they were both nine, so that kind of sucked. Okay, 21. Then we're going to go try a tournament pack, I think. Uh, 21 should already be at the back. We have... Mischief. We have Testudora Newman. And Scareclaw Crash Tierra. I forgot about that one. That used to be money for a while, but I don't. It's probably not now because it's been a little bit. Let's try. I think we have two TP6, right? TP6. I am pretty sure that these are going to be weighed because uh, I'm trying to remember from back where I got them. I've had these for quite a while, but either way, we're going to try them out. TP6, the best card, uh, is the Ultra Rare DD Warrior, I believe. Uh, there's also the, wait, no, that's TP7. TP6 is Toon Cannon Soldier. Then, uh, let's see, what else? I think Toon Table Contents is in here as well. Clown Zombie, there we go. A clown revived by the powers of darkness. Its deadly dance has sent many monsters to their graves. This thing dances. Now, that was unexpected. I didn't realize that, so bo Bones. What are you doing, Bones? We got a Rice Senshi. That's a nice card. And uh, last turn. So yeah, this is TP, the original TP, not even guaranteed rares. So as you can see, we got all commons there. Clown Zombie is pretty classic, though. I bet that would be actually a nice card to grade. Let me see if it was gradable. Got some stuff going down the middle. That probably hurt it. Yeah, that would probably be tough to get a 10 with that but otherwise very nice looking card okay tp6 and here we can take a little look at the wrapper right here three and one common so you're supposed to hit three commons every pack except for when they get replaced by a rare four is uh, rares are one in every three supers are one in every 18 and ultras are one in every 108 so very tough to get the ultra that's why like morphing jar mech chaser doom cannon soldier in this case very, very rare. Okay, let's see if we can get anything in this video. All we need is one pull to be happy, really. One pull, we're super happy. We have Noble Knight Boars. We have Herald of the Abyss. Look at the centering giant forehead right there. Nimble Angle. Nimble Angler, I should say. OTS 21. So far, the OTSs have let us down pretty significantly. We have the Time Space, space Trap Hole with Mysterious Puppeteer. And Tavari the Sky Ninja. Okay. OTSs, I, I'm asking you to step it up, okay? You're the one that actually has, like, a really good chance to pull something, I think, because you're a lot newer. So maybe you could, like, do that real quick. Just get something. We have Power Tool Mecha Dragon, branded in red. And come on, baby. Clear new world again. All right, all right. Not Nothing too crazy happening. We have OTS Tournament Pack 21. Oh, wait, no, it's already in the back, isn't it? Let's go. Mud Dragon of the Swamp. These feel like thin... Da -da 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 -da. All right, <laughs> Sprite Red, Sprite Red, not a bad card. Little X-Files music there, double Mud Dragon of the Swamp, pretty weird. Let's try the OTS 18 real quick. Not that old, a couple years old at this point. What was in 18? I think 16 was the Cyber Dragon and the Droplet 17 had uh, Imperm. What did 18 have? I don't remember. Might not be that great if I can't remember. Let's see if I can, uh, is there any spoiler? Okay, no spoiler. I don't know if 18 has anything. So we're gonna do that. We have the Destiny Hero Celestial, okay. I'll get the Denny. Okay, so just a super. And then the uh, Nordic Senate. This is like the cover card on one of the starter decks for the uh, Nordic stuff. So interesting to see that. All right, OTS. Come on, baby. Don't burn us. Give us one good pull. Give us one good pull right here. Come on, one good pull. That's all we're asking for. 
We have Evo Force. We have Evil Tile. And Baby Raccoon. Ponpoko. Sure, sure, why not? OTS 21. I believe in you, OTS. It's about like 1 in 16 for... An, or 1 in 16 to 17 for an ultimate in OTS packs, I believe. So there's Sprite Red. I didn't need to do the pack trick. Yeah, I mean... We should get one at some point, maybe. Well, we have 20 packs, so I guess we're kind of on ratio, but we only have 10 of each, so it's like, maybe, maybe not. We'll get one. Uh, I don't remember what it's open. OTS, so it's at the back. We have a uh, contact. Biss actor. Come on, baby. Scareclaw Gashira. We've gotten a couple of those. Okay, let's try this Astral Pack. We have an Astral Pack 5. I have no idea what's an Astral Pack 5. I have an Astral Pack 4. I thought about opening it, and I was like, no. It's just... Too rare. Very hard to find. They had max seen them, so yeah, pretty big. Uh, Astral Pack 5. I don't remember what's in here. Let's see if they have the ratios on Astral Pack as well. When did they stop doing that? Either Turbo Pack or Astral Pack, because it's not on here, it looks like. So, let's see. Okay, it's at the front, so let's do like this. Do it like that. Flip it around. I don't know if that's a foil or not, but if it's any foil, we'll be happy. We have Embers of Prophecy. We have the Hanawada, and we have... Okay, Genesis Lightsworn Mender. I can't remember if they're guaranteed supers. I'm pretty sure they are in Astral Pack. Either way, very cool to get something. And it's Lightsworn. Lightsworn, you know, getting a little more popular recently. They had some recent support, so very cool. All right, OTS. Counting on you, OTS. You're gonna turn this around. You got this. We have... Ooh, the Titanic Moth. Watch out. Pecanio Moth's older brother. The Synchro. And the branded Lost. Sure. Pecanio Moth's older brother. That's very exciting, but unfortunately not an actual pull in terms of rarity. We have Network Trap Hole. We have the Photon Sanctuary. And we have Black Feather Counter. Sure, we'll be counting those feathers. We're down to, okay, one of each of these. So let's just uh, just knock these out and go straight for the old stuff now after this. Let's just go see if we can get an ulti here. We have Herald of the Abyss. We have Branded in Red. And Pearly Happy Memories. Okay, all right, sure. OTS 21. These OTS, they've been duds so far. Already in the back. We go. Galaxy Expedition. We have Photon Sanctuary. By the way, if you do like these tournament pack openings, I have a bunch of other tournament packs. If you just type in, like, tournament pack opening Ruxin on YouTube, there should be a bunch of them come up. Old school. We've had some great pulls in the past, so uh, go check the... Oh! Go check those out. Ultimate Rare. Tier Limits Rhino Heart. Last pack of OTS 21. All right. That is awesome. Centering is not fantastic on this, but I'm, I'm happy. That is something. I mean... Tier limits, not so great anymore. Had a lot of bans and stuff and, you know, changes in the meta. So not quite as great as they were. But ultimate rare is an ultimate rare. All right, we got our one pull. But that was from a new one. So let's see if we can get a one pull from an old one as well. Then we do really well. OTS 13. This was around, like, when I, the first time I ever got any OTS packs. Um, this is when I entered in a tournament and then dropped out just to get the one pack for the every pack opening. I don't know where the, the card would be. So I'm just going to go like that. We have Dimensional Prison. Hey, right, little Edison. And a Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. So, Floodgate Trap Hole, little dueling special right there. Very cool. And a Clear Wing, or Crystal Clear, Crystal Wing, not Crystal Clear Wing. That's the Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm Ghost Rare. Okay, all the way back to OTS3. This one, I have no idea because I was not around when this thing was uh, going on. They don't tell you any ratios on here either. They just tell you like how many cards, are, like three ultimate rares in the set, whatever. A spoiler, there is a spoiler. Good. We have DD Crow. It's a good card. I mean, can't complain. Night in Sorcerer and Ally of Justice Cycle Reader. I mean, Ally of Justice. I can't imagine that's great. Okay, we are down to, we have tournament packs or turbo pack six. We should probably open one now and save one for later. Whew, here we go. Turbo pack. Let's go see what we can get. Ultra Rare Dark Arm Dragon. Come on, baby. There's also Ultras in here. There's only one ulti and it's the Dark Arm Dragon. By the way, I didn't check on the back. Does it tell you anything? Yeah, so there is one ulti. One ultra. Let's not spoil it. What was that back there? I think that might have been whatever. I don't know if it's guaranteed super or not. We have Golem Dragon. We have Gemini Spark. I don't remember the ultra. Why do I feel like it's still uh, Dark Greffer? Which would be weird because they're both from Phantom Darkness. I don't know. And the Electra Sovereign of Bird. So that is... Yeah, that's not really going to make your money back on a Turbo Pack opening. But very cool either way. All right, let's try a Turbo Pack 5. I think I have one of these uh, in here. Not the craziest one because it's like Big Shield Gardena and stuff like that. You get Needleworm Super, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Ultra is Luminous Soldier. Yeah, so the least exciting of all the Ultras, but still a cool card. Let's open it very carefully because these are very old. I'll try not to spoil the whole thing. I don't even know if it's at the front. It might not be, but just to be safe, I'm going to flip it around. Okay, Destruction Punch could be the next card. Okay, Mystical Sheep number one. That's a TP1 reprint and... 
Book of Life for the, all those zombie decks in Edison. And some go for them out as well. So very cool. Very cool. Not a foil though. All right. I think I have two TP4s. So this could have a Royal Decree. Could have Morphing Jar. It's originally in TP2, but the super is in here. The cards in here are often very scuffed and very off-centered. So even if we pull something, you know, it'll probably be that. But either way, I don't care. I just want it to, you know, be a foil. It'd be amazing. Because, you know, 1 in 18 for a super. Pretty rare. Let me check, take a little peek through here. Okay. Reverse open here. Didn't see the card. Just saw that it was the front of a card. All right. Let's see. I don't even know if that's the foil or not. But just to be safe, last time it was in TP5. Hayabusa Knight. Very cool. Old school. Send you, big fan of send you. Little uh, relinquish action and nibble manga. All commons. All right, the classic. Not even guaranteed rares in those old school. They're pretty rough. Okay, what do we do now? Let's do champion pack. Uh, Turbo pack six is a big one, so we're going to save that. Was there a spoiler on this one? I don't want you guys to see it right away. It's never as fun. Oh, the Arkansas Razorbacks rush recklessly. Very nice. Cease fire. Come on. Come on. Super rare. Let's go. Abyss Soldier. Okay, it is guaranteed rares in champion back, so not that crazy. Abyss Soldier, pretty decent goat format. Not bad. We'll take it. You're down to tournament pack four, six, and turbo pack six. Let's do tournament pack six first. We're gonna open them backwards. I feel like they all need to be open like that. Flip it around. These cards feel like they're in pretty good condition. We have Ryu Senshi. Clown Zombie. Let's give us that that tune uh cannon soldier. That'd be pretty amazing. Sleeping Lion. This is a classic card. A ferocious animal that sleeps all day. Sometimes it's better to let sleeping lions be. <laughs> I like that. 1700 defense. He's like, back off. I'm trying to sleep right now. Turbo pack. So, so far we've had an ulti. So we at least got something. Uh, that was out of OTS though. A newer set. These uh, these older ones, they have not been great. We have not pulled any foils, but that's kind of expected. Of the, the number we had was not even like a ratio to pull foil. But they are so hard to get foils that... You know, we were hoping maybe we'd get lucky. Okay. I think on this one, I did, it wasn't actually at the front. I'm pretty sure it was at the back, wasn't it? Let's see. Oh, it was at the front. Stardust, though. That's a, it's pretty good. All right, we'll take it. Green Kappa and the Fusion Gate, which is also a good common. So, honestly, a pretty good pack. You know, very expensive, but very good pack. All right, last pack. If you guys have enjoyed this tournament pack opening, make sure you subscribe for more content. And go check out my old tournament pack openings, because I've done a lot of them over the years. And they're always super fun. They're getting harder and harder to find, so maybe go revisit some of those old ones if you would like. And, uh, you know, give them a check out, see what we got in the past. Let's do it like this. And we're about to get a Royal Decree. It's where I'm going to lose it, okay? Mad Sword Beast never pulled that card. The Arkansas Razorbacks. And our final card of today's video. We had some big videos recently. Go check them out. We've opened up LOB First Ed. We've done, uh, we opened McDonald's Pack 2. We opened every Legendary Collection. I've opened some new Asian English sets. Go check those out. Here we go. Last pack. It was a rare call by the grave. I thought when I saw trap, I got a little excited, but maybe next time. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puff and Sudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.